take a moment and scan through your body. Notice if there's anywhere that you're intentionally holding on. And invite that area to relax. there's any areas where you personally hold tension or stress in the body. Just invite that area to soften. But if you find a spot that just doesn't want to relax, instead of fighting with it, just relax around it, softening all around the tension allowing it to be there. Letting go of resistance. Good. Now find the part of the body that feels the most relaxed, that feels the best, where there's the most pleasure available. Put your attention on that part of the body. And it could be a very small area or a big area. Place your attention there and start to really feel that sensation, that pleasant sensation. If you have several areas in the body that feel good, that feel especially relaxed, feel free to move around to different spots. But do take some time with each one, really feeling it, really experiencing it. Get to know the sensation. Is it warm? Does it vibrate? Does it expand? Explore it. Notice how it moves, how it changes. If at any time you can't find a part of the body that feels relaxed, that feels good, you can move through and intentionally relax the body again, inviting the body to soften. But it's also possible that there's a very small area that's quite subtle, that's hard to locate, that feels good. So stay open to that as well.
really explore these relaxed, pleasant sensations, letting go of the story around them, and really feeling them, using your physical awareness to get to know the sensations. Anytime you get pulled into your thoughts, gently, without judgment, bring your attention back to the body. Locate an area that feels good, that feels relaxed. And just begin to feel those sensations. And it doesn't have to be a spot that feels the best ever. It doesn't have to be insanely pleasurable, though it might be. It could just be subtly relaxed. That's okay. a minute and notice, is there any sense of wanting to hold on to this good feeling? Is there any sense of grasping? Is there any story in the mind about wanting to keep this feeling? Just noticing, noticing if anything like that is coming up. And if it is, just acknowledge it. And then come back to simply feeling the sensation as it is in this moment, without trying to hold on to it. Good. So now we're going to move our attention 
to a sensation that doesn't feel so good, to any kind of discomfort in the body. It could be an achy knee or back, a headache, It could be a leg that's asleep. It could just be a low level sense of anxiety somewhere in the stomach, a feeling of, I need to get up, I need to move. Or perhaps there's some other kind of emotional sensation happening in the chest or the face or the stomach that feels uncomfortable. I'd like you to put your attention on this uncomfortable sensation in the body and begin to do the same thing that you did with the relaxed sensation. Simply explore it. Get to know it. Notice how it moves. Does it expand? Does it contract? Does it have a certain temperature? If you find that you're tightening up around the sensation, see if you can soften, let go of the resistance to the uncomfortable sensation and just feel it. The mind may begin to get rather loud when dealing with discomfort in the body or dealing with challenging emotional sensations. And that's okay. You don't need to quiet the mind. Just gently bring your attention back to the body when you notice you've been pulled into thought. And really work on separating the sensation from the story about the sensation. more and more experiencing it as simply sensation. And again, if there's more than one uncomfortable sensation, feel free to move around to different parts of the body. And if at any time you feel overwhelmed by the sensation, feels like too much, go back to intentionally relaxing the body. Perhaps even taking a few deep breaths. 
and finding a place in the body that feels good until you're ready to come back and work with the more challenging sensation. We don't want to push ourselves to the point of shutting down or overwhelm. We want to be brave, but we also want to be gentle here. And now begin to notice is there any sense of wanting to get rid of or push away this uncomfortable sensation? Does the body perhaps keep tightening up against the sensation? Is the mind talking about getting comfortable or just pulling you into random thoughts to distract you from the sensation? Just noticing if there's any sense of aversion, any sense of resistance to what is right now. Noticing that, acknowledging it, and then simply coming back to the sensation and in an open, curious way, exploring it. moving towards being with the sensation without trying to get rid of it. Being with the sensation without that sense of aversion or resistance. And that might not happen today, but that's something to work towards. And you may find as you let go of the story, you let go of what your mind has to say about the sensation, more and more you do that, the more it simply becomes a sensation. Pressure, tingling, contraction, heat. It's not so personal. Good. So we're going to let go of that. And we're going to come back to intentionally relaxing the body. Moving from the top of the head. Down into the face, neck, down the arms. Down the torso and down the legs. Just moving up and down, relaxing and letting go. Softening. And it's okay if there's still some discomfort. As much as possible, soften. From here, I invite you to begin to smile. This can be a small smile or a big, huge grin, whatever feels right to you. It can just be the hint of a smile. But begin to smile and feel the sensation of that smile spreading across the face, maybe up into the eyes, maybe down into the throat and the chest. Noticing what that smile feels like. And then we're going to repeat a simple phrase in our minds as we continue to smile. 
May I be well. May I be well. So simply repeat that phrase in your mind as you smile. It's okay if other thoughts come up. Just keep bringing your attention back to those words and to the pleasant sensations in the body. May I be well. May I be well. And now bring someone to mind that you'd like to send these words to. Maybe you can bring an image of them up in your mind or just a sense of them. It can be a friend, a relative. romantic partner, can be a stranger even, someone you just see every once in a while, person who bags your groceries. can also be someone who you have some conflict with. So you choose who you want that person to be today and send them the words, may you be well, as you continue to smile. And finally, let's extend this out to the other people in the room. Just taking in the group. Feeling into the space that we created together. And sending out to everyone the words, may we be well. Continuing to smile, relax. May we be well. Good. And taking your time as you're ready, you can begin to open your eyes.